Hello, Journey Junkie community. Welcome back to the yoga mat. Today's practice is a short morning yoga sequence using the mantra, I am worthy. My goal for you is to get on the mat, breathe into your being and step off it feeling complete, like you have the right to be here and that you are worthy. Always remember, if you're not part of our online tribe, click the link in the description below. Come join us, we are waiting for you. With that said, we will start in a kneeling position. I will meet you there. Okay, so kneeling position, you can choose to be like me with hips back over the heels, knees together. You can bring a block between the feet to provide more comfort for the knees. You can sit in Sukhasana easy pose, so a cross-legged position if this is too much, but choose somewhere that you can sink into the moment and really tap into our mantra of I am worthy. Once you transition into that space, Find that length through the spinal column, soften the shoulders down, awaken that yogic breath, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. And then sit here with me and repeat the mantra for five breaths. I'll kick it off. I am worthy. I am worthy. You can say it out loud or in your head, but stick with it and stay here for five breaths. This last breath will be a cleansing one. Take a deep inhale breath through the nose. Hold it at the top. See if you can suck in a little bit more air. And when you're ready, open the mouth, release with a huge sigh. All right, open your eyes, transition into a neutral tabletop, stacking shoulders over wrists and hips over knees. On an inhale breath, send the belly towards the earth as you expand through the collarbone, lift the gaze. Exhale to drop the tailbone, round the back, relax head and neck. Keep moving through cat-cow pose. Harnessing that breath work to bring you into the moment and further sink that mantra, I am worthy, down through all three layers body, mind, and soul. One more round. And neutral tabletop, extend the right leg straight back, bring the ball of the foot down to the earth and push back through your heel. Use your hands to really drive your body back here, finding a oh so sweet calf stretch. Breathe into that muscle. Next inhale, glide the shoulders over the wrists and pick up the right leg. Energize through the toes, roll the right hip down, hug the belly button up towards the spine. So you should feel the low ribs and the hip points coming closer together. Stay here or challenge yourself and extend the left fingertips forward. Remember, push the ground away with the right hand as you reach from fingertip to heel. Three breaths.
If you're with me, option to bend the back leg, reach back with the left hand, catch the foot, and open the chest, kick foot into hand here. Breathe. Exhale, release, extend the right leg back out and hug the right knee behind the left, coming into Gomukhasana. Send the feet wide and walk the bottom, your bottom, back between the feet, knowing that the further the heels are away, the deeper the stretch. So if it's too intense, walk the heels closer to the body. Also recognizing it's very early, it's morning time, so uh, give yourself a little bit of room to ease into it. Option to stay lifted here through the sternum. Option to fold over the knees, knowing that that also intensifies the stretch. We'll be here for five breaths though, so sink in and chant your mantra, I am worthy. Next, inhale, hinge forward, come back onto your knees, come into pigeon pose on the left side, you're perfectly set up, bring the left knee towards the left wrist, slide the right foot towards the back of the mat. I like to start my Kapotasana pigeon pose up on my fingertips, chest lifted, finding that hip flexor stretch on the right side just for a moment. And exhale, fold forward, a few breaths here. Again, tapping back into I am worthy. Inhale, rise back up. Maybe back in neutral tabletop, walk yourself through a few cat-cow poses, resetting the spine. Feel free to move in any way here. Maybe you take big hip circles or roll the body like you're in a peanut butter jar, but do what feels good here. Last breath. And neutral tabletop, extend the right leg, sorry, the left leg back this time. Toes stay on the ground at first. Push back through the hands. Find that oh so sweet calf stretch on this side. And inhale, rock forward. Pick up the left leg. Energize through the heel, roll the left hip down, hug the belly in, extend the right arm out straight. If you're going there, you don't need to reach straight, but breathe here, integrate all of the body. And if you're coming with me, reach back, bending the knee, reach back for the foot, kick foot into hand, open the chest. One more breath. Exhale, release hand, bring left knee behind right. Walk your body back, find Gomukhasana on this side. Again, knowing that the heels coming further away from the body deepens the stretch. So you do you. We're here for five breaths. Come back to the mantra, I am worthy. Hinge forward, 
Moving into pigeon pose on this side. The right knee comes towards the wrist. We slide that left leg back. And choosing, you can do the hip flexor stretch with me or fold right down. Do what works for you in this moment. And if you're up, now fold on down. Inhale, rise up. Fall over onto your right hip. Swing the left leg around. We're coming into Janu Shirsasana with added baby wild things. So right sole of the foot into the left thigh. Bring fingertips down by your sides. Lift up through the heart, through the sternum, and exhale to your depth of the posture. Inhale, rise up. Bring that right hand behind the body. Push down into the earth as you lift the hips. Reach the left arm back. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down. Again, inhale, lift. And exhale, down. Switch sides. Right leg extends out, left sole of the foot into the body. Fingertips drive down beside you, lift the sternum. And exhale, fold to your depth. Inhale, lift up. Reach that left hand behind you. Inhale, brings you up on top of the knee. Lifting the hips. Exhale, sweeps you back down. Again, inhale. Exhale. I love this motion for awakening that life force. Last time, inhale. And exhale, come down and meet me in a seated position to seal our practice. So coming into Sukhasana, rooting down through your sitting bones, rising up through your spinal column, softening the shoulders down, and we'll seal this practice with a short moment of silence, repeating our mantra, I am worthy. You can say it out loud or in your head, but take a moment here and remind yourself of that important affirmation. I am worthy. Release the mantra, stay here for a few breaths and notice the after effects of repeating, I am worthy. On your next inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, gather up the energy created today Palms touch overhead and exhale the hands down through heart center. We'll close with the unifying vibration of OM. Big inhale. Oh. Open your eyes. Thank you so much for starting your day with me, for practicing alongside me, and for really sinking into that affirmation of I am worthy. 
I hope you have an incredible day ahead of you and that you stay super connected to that thought process and that mantra. Remember, if you're not part of the tribe, the link is waiting for you in the description below. I can't wait for you to come join us. I'll meet you back here next week, of course, for another opportunity to step on your mat and live your journey.